All right, so pretty excited today. Um, let me get back into Lego and specifically Lego Star Wars until this year. Well, back into since I've never had Lego Star Wars stuff, uh, but I had Legos as a kid way, way back when. Don't ask. But uh, so I can't get a lot of the sets from Lego because they're just ridiculously overpriced or unavailable. So today represents my first knockoff Lego set ordered from China. Um, this one was ordered through a store on eBay. So I'm gonna open this up and uh, check it out and see, see what this looks like. I don't wanna uh, damage this. I'm trying to find a corner we can open here. Oops. So this is the uh, 20th anniversary snow speeder. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know I got the 20th anniversary uh, Anakin's Pod Racer on Walmart as a lucky find, but this is uh, way overpriced on eBay for the Lego version. This is a this is a padded envelope. Um, that they sent it in, but it's not super padded. And then you can see we've got just a baggie here. And I'm gonna build this later tonight, but I wanna take a look right now and see, you know, just what this looks like in here. Right, so we got some separate bags in the baggie. Uh, got a bunch of plastic bag warnings on it in different languages. No, no numbers really to identify the bags. That's kind of cool. All the little minifigures come in a separate bag. That's actually kind of better than the way Lego does it. There's a lot of little bags for a 200 and some odd piece Lego set. This looks like the, uh, the laser cannon thing. And then, uh, oh, that's cool. It actually has, I wasn't expecting it to come with an instruction book. I thought I would just have to look up the Lego one. So, but you can see it's the uh, Space Wars instead of Star Wars. Uh, actually looks pretty similar to a Lego instruction book. Oh, and there's even stickers in here, so that's cool. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna open up the uh, the minifig bag. I think there's some other parts in here, but I'm really curious. Like I said, this is the first I've ever seen in person any uh, Lego knockoffs. I don't really know who makes this, like as far as brand, like Mold King or, you know, well, Weapons Out of Business, but one of their successors or whatever. Um, it is interesting that, so they do have the little 20th anniversary sticker, or print, rather, on the back of Lando. Um, he did come with one of the Oops, with one of the pilot heads stuck to his body with the cape. So that's strange, but let's take that off. The cape is weird. So it's, it's, um, and I mean, maybe this is what the original capes were like, but it's a sort of a nylon on one side and there's like felt on the other side. 
That's kind of interesting. Let's uh, see if we can put Lando together here. It feels a little uh, a little more prone to ripping than the new capes that I've gotten. But again, that might be just because they're cloning the old Lego. Like, I'm not sure if that's how the, the Lego version of this came to with the, the weird version of the cape. There's your hair, Landel. Here we go. It's got a smooth hair. Smooth. Like Colt 45. Which legs is Lando supposed to have? Doesn't he have, like, maybe they're just black. I actually have to look. I don't know what this figure is supposed to look like. No, they're just black. Okay. I thought they matched his outfit. I was wrong. I don't remember. So that's Lando. The hands are definitely a little looser than Lego hands. Well, at least this hand is on him. This hand isn't bad. Everything else feels very Lego-ish. I mean, it's obviously not. It's a knockoff, but... Alright, so the dude with the green pants gets the... The white body. That's maybe... Whoop. Well, I was going to say that's a little loose, but then I stuck it in there and I can't pull it back out, so I guess not. Yeah, it, it seems like the left hand. Oh, no, this one's... The hands are pretty loose in these guys. Not like the, the real Legos that I've gotten recently. Uh, this is the guy that doesn't have the pilot thing on his face, so this goes here. It's one of these. And he's got snow goggles somewhere. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's see if I can put this. Oh, that's cool. So you can either put them on his face or you can put them up on top of his hat. That's pretty neat. And the print looks nice on him. Then we got two Rebel Pilots. Now these are a little different. Now I don't... Like I said, I don't have the Lego set of this, so I don't know if this is how they were in the recent Lego set last year. See, the legs are a little floopy up and down compared to my new Legos, but they're, they fit tight into the body, so you're not going to pull them out. See, and this hand is really tight. This hand's a little loose. Yeah, that's kind of loose on that side. Uh... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so these guys have visors, like, built onto their heads. I'll have to look up the Lego version, but if you can, if I can get this to focus here, this guy's face has the visor, like, built onto the face print, and then if you turn around, it's got the visor up, um, and then you just put the, the helmet over, this guy, I guess this is supposed to be Luke. Um, but you just put the helmet over it. Now the, the pilot figure that I just got, the visor was actually built into the top of the helmet here. So that's different. But like I said, I don't know if that's how that was on this Lego set or if this Lego set was just like this. There you go. If you want the, the quality difference between Lego and the knockoffs, all the Lego figures I've had have been super tight here. They're, these hands are a little loose. Compared to Lego, the legs, the legs move easier than Legos, so I don't know if that'll be a problem in time. They loosen too much or whatever, but I don't tend to play with these. I just tend to put them together and then display them. So we'll find out. And we got their little blasters. These are, as far as I can tell, these are the same as Lego ones. I mean, I don't have any Rebel blasters that look like this yet, but these look. The, these are exactly the same as the Lego ones. I couldn't tell that. I just put one of these together on my. I don't know if you can see these on the back of this. These are really indistinguishable. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. So, yeah, I mean, not quite Lego quality with the minifigures so far, but I didn't have to spend an extra 50 bucks over the initial cost of this. I just got it on eBay for the what it cost when it was out in the US as a Lego set. I uh, just really quick, this is the 
difference I'm talking about. So this is the guy from the A-Wing fighter. You can see if you pull off the helmet, it's actually got the little visor built in. And then the guy from the uh, snow speeder, if you, well, you pull off the head, but the, if you look real close, the visor is just a print on the head there. But I went ahead and looked that up online, and this is how, actually how the Lego set was too. So that's just weird that I, this is much cooler with the lens built into the helmet. So this is what I would consider bag one. So this is the little um, dish laser that they use in Hoth in the Empire Strikes Back to shoot at the encroaching Imperial walkers. Uh, it's pretty cool. So it's just a little base and this swivels around. Um, everything seems really cool and very, very similar to Lego. Some of the pieces even seem a little tighter than Lego. The only thing, um, I would say maybe is different and I've not built this in Lego. So again, I don't know, but this little technique piece here, this little pin that holds it, this little dish just kind of it moves very easily on there. So if you set this up and you want it to look like it's shooting up and somebody taps the table, you can see it moving there. It just kind of flops. So may maybe that's not exactly the same quality. But uh, all the pieces, all the fitment and stuff is pretty tight. All the clutch is nice on these. So that's pretty cool. And, and I say bag one because there are no numbered bags. But if this was a Lego set, that's probably bag one. On to um, bag two. Whoops.
All right, so that is what I would consider the end of bag two. Were this a Lego set with numbered bags. So you can see we've got the snow speeder half assembled. Actually, that would probably be bag three. There's probably four bags and I, I skipped one because probably the third bag is the, the cockpit area and the fourth bag is the wing, but whatever. Um, so you get your little speeder air flaps that slow it down. That's some cool detailing under there with the sticker on there. I really like the, the cannons on these. They look like they go all the way through even though they're all separate parts. The stickers on these are pretty cool. This one's printed a little bit off center. Um, and I try to move it over as far as possible before it was off the edge, but you can see it's a little off center there. Doesn't really bother me much, but uh, the, the stickers are also not numbered, so you have to really be looking to see which way they're oriented in the instructions. So there's one there, there, there. Um, and then there's a couple on the side of the back windows here. Uh, the only thing I've noticed that's not quite up to Lego standards is the uh, stupid pew pew shooter on the bottom. If you, It's really, really rattly. If you move it at all, it rattles like crazy. <laughs> which is not something I've noticed that the Lego ones actually do. Uh, but other than that, and I don't really care, I, I might even take these off because I don't like those, I don't use them. Obviously I'm not playing with these, I'm just putting them out for display. But so far I'm pretty impressed. Um, like I said, this is my first knockoff build and, and it's been pretty quality so far. I'm pretty impressed, so hopefully it stays that way for the rest of the build. So that is the 20th anniversary snow speeder set. Uh, I got a few things I want to mention here. So this is the snow speeder. This turned out really cool. I really like the detailing on the wings. Um, just like the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor and the TIE Fighter set I built. You can find links below here. Um, this has just so much cool little details on the wings. Um, both wings are slightly different, kind of owing to the fact that these are supposed to be older craft that require a lot of maintenance to keep them in the air. Um, you can see we've got the little vent with the orange piece below it here, and that's not the same as on this side. And so they're both they're both very cool. Um, you've got the little. I just put this in here. I don't use the stud shooters, so this looks cool as the uh, the grapple cannon, and you've got the little reel on the back here for the the line that's attached to it um, these are again slightly floppy but again i'm going to be displaying this so i'm not really playing with it but i mean you could it's not going to fall apart if we flip it over <clears throat> there's the bottom you can see the shooters here on the bottom Now, I will say, um, I haven't seen this in a Lego set, but in this one, because this cockpit is in a bag with a bunch of other pieces, um, if you look real close, and you probably won't be able to see it on camera here, it, it looks pretty good on camera, but if you look at it in real life real close, there's a ton of little tiny micro scratches all over it. 
No, not really a big deal. I mean, you won't really notice it unless you get it in the right light. But you can definitely tell, and I've not seen that on a Lego one. Um, this opens up. You can either hinge it on the front here so that you can get the guys in, or it actually hinges the whole thing up so you can put both of them in. And there's a little storage space in the back for whatever. Um, I will say that's a that's a difference is the minifigures is like these are a little less of quality than the lego ones so they don't really when you do a lego set with these their legs really grab the little piece in between them and these guys legs are loose so they don't they don't really grab that they're kind of floppy in there again for me it doesn't matter because i don't want to spend a hundred dollars on this twenty dollar set uh, but if you were wanting to play with it or something, that might they might fall. And you've got the little air brakes here that lip up and down. So those are cool. So that's really cool. I really like that. It really, looks really good. Wanted a snow speeder for a long time, and now I have one. Now I just need an Imperial Walker. Mini figure scale. So I'm going to have to find a mock. Um, this, I did want to bring this back up. So... I tried out two of the Chinese Technic pins, these little focus, these little black pins. Um, both of them were, I got three, but I tried two and both of them were super loose. And when you get this back far enough, it just falls over. So I have a bag of the real Lego ones. I put a real Lego pin in and it's so much tighter. And it actually stays in place. So I'm going to leave that real Lego pin in there. Because obviously it works much better than the uh, the Chinese knockoff ones. Other than that though, I mean all the bricks clutch together really good. Um, some of them, uh, a lot of these bricks are probably held together a lot better than the Lego ones. But that, uh, that Technique pin is definitely a weakness of the set. But other than that... Again, I paid, I paid on eBay what this set went for new when it was out actually in the U.S. And I, you can't get it now unless you want to pay a lot more. And I didn't, so this is totally worth it. I, I like this a lot. I'm definitely buying more knockoffs in the future, both for mocks and sets that there's no way I possibly could have afforded and or gotten when they were out. You will notice um, I did put my little 20th anniversary side by side just to see. And so you can tell the difference. You can tell the real one, Luke Skywalker. He's got the Lego Star Wars 1999 to 2019, Luke Skywalker. And here on Lando, you just see 20 years Star Wars. And that's the same difference on the back. Luke's got the uh, focus on Luke. Use the false. So you can see he says 20 years Lego Star Wars. And then Lando just says 20 years Star Wars, which 20 years Star Wars was 1997 and there weren't even Lego Star Wars then. So, but whatever, like I said, I'm not going to, I'm not forking out a hundred dollars for the real one and they still look pretty cool. That's it. Uh, I was surprised even after reading reviews, how good these, uh, Chinese knockoff bricks actually were. I'm sure there are some poorly designed ones, but, uh, these I got from eBay and they were they were great and I'll probably get uh, some more until I get all these little 20th anniversary sets collected. Thanks for stopping by guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and, and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me. And we'll see you here next time on 7 Star Off Topic.